Okay. All right, you guys with me? All right, let's do a little bit harder one. All right. We've got a request from a harder one. A harder one. I've got uh, Clyde here, Matt, Andrew, all with me. All learning Cisco. All learning subnetting. It's really exciting. We're going to take out our samurai Cisco subnetting swords. And we're just going to kick some butt right here. All right. If you have an IP address like this, 196.16.144.99, that's your IP address. But look at this funky subnet mask, slash 23, okay? So, once again, we're going to find, is this 99, slash 23, a host, a network, or a broadcast address? Have to be able to find that out, okay? So, what I did was, I wrote out slash 23 in binary, right? 8 bits. 8 bits, 8 ones, 8 ones, 7 ones. 8, 16 ones, 7 ones makes 23 ones, and then 9 zeros. Okay? Slash 23. Right? Okay. That means that it's 255.255.254.0 subnet mask. See that again? 255.255.254. Dot zero subnet mask. Okay, so how do we find out whether this is a host, a network, or a broadcast address? The magic number will tell us all the information we need to know. Okay, all right. So what is the magic number, Andrew? What is the magic number? Thirty-two. Nope. Matt, what's the magic number? Two. Two. The magic number is two. All right. Now I got a little confused there. How is it the magic number two? Our place values are in our binary. We've got the 128's place, the 64's place, the 32's place, the 16's place, the 8, the 4, the 2, the 1. We've got a 1 here. Look at this octet. This is the octet where we have where the 1's end and a 0 begins. This is the, the octet of interest. Right? If we Write it out here. One, 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 zero. Seven ones and a zero. The magic number is the last one, right? This, this, what I'm drawing out right here, is what's happening right here in this octet of interest, right? So, the last one is in which place? The twos place. The twos place. Okay. That means. The networks go up by two. The networks go up by two. But the magic number in this case does not tell us how many hosts we have. How many hosts we have is dictated by the zeros. And we have nine zeros. So in each network, in each network, there will be two to the ninth power of hosts, right? Two to the ninth power of hosts, which will be. 512 hosts per network minus uh, the network number and the broadcast number would be 510 usable hosts per network. All right. But back to it. The magic number is what? Magic number is? Two. Two. All right. Magic number is two. So that means that the networks go up by two, meaning zero is the first network, two is the second network. Zero is the first network, two, then four, then six, then eight. You guys with me on that? Then ten, right? But if we want to, we can just start doubling till we get to uh, till we get to 144. So 10, 12, you know, let's just double it out. It's even numbers. It's basically always going to be an even number is the networks. So that means that the networks will go all the way up to 142. And then the next network will be what? 144. And so we know right off the bat that the network number in this case would be 196.16.144.0. Okay? That's going to be the network number. Okay? And it's going to go all the way up until it reaches the next network. And the next network would be. 196.16.146.0. So this network goes all the way up 
to, where should I write it? It goes all the way up to 196.16.145.255. Okay, that's where it would go up to, right? So, dot 99, is it the network number? Is it 144.0? No, it's not. Is it 145.255? No, it's not. It's in between those two, so it is a valid host address in this scenario. That's how it works. The octet of interest is where the ones and the, where we borrow the ones. We have a zero here, so we borrowed seven bits from the third octet. We borrowed seven bits from the third octet. This is the octet of interest. This is where our subnetting is occurring. Is that helpful? Maybe? Yes or no? Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. Let's answer another question. How much time do we have left, guys, in this video? Yeah, three minutes and 47 seconds. Okay. Three minutes and 47 seconds left. Here's another question that we have to answer in subnetting questions. Oh, my goodness. We've got four routers. And this router, we need 33 hosts. And in this one, we need 27 hosts. And in this one, we need 14 hosts. And in this one, we need 30 hosts. How do we subnet? What subnet mask will break up our networks into enough networks to accommodate this many hosts? This many hosts, right? 33 hosts in this network. 27 hosts in this network, 14 hosts in this network, 30 hosts. Well, basically, um, that is a, a pretty easy answer if you think about the magic number. The magic number tells us where our networks are. 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. The magic number would have to be, in this situation, 64 to allow for 33 hosts in the largest network. This is a 30, this is a 14, this is a 27, this is a 33. A 32 magic number with 32 hosts will not be enough. So the answer in this scenario would be slash 26, meaning slash 24, borrow two more bits, right, for slash 26, and you'll have 64 hosts, 64 hosts, per network, and that would work. Also, if you have 64, if the magic number is 64, the magic number is 64, and you have a slash 26 to accommodate this situation, what are the networks? 0 to 63, 64 to 127, uh, 128, to 191, it's a weird 128, and 192 to 255, right? That gives us one, two, three, four networks, size, 64 hosts in each. I could have four networks here, 64 hosts each. That would accommodate this scenario. They try to get tricky by making this a 33. Okay? All right, that's it.